YouTube announces they will remove videos critical of the 2020 election and direct people to more authoritative news sources like CNN, ABC, and other mainstream media outlets. Oddly, most of these outlets that they're referring people to are partisan. They're biased, especially when it comes to politics. These terms of service changes are detailed in the blog post up on the screen. It's from the YouTube official blog, and it's linked in the video description below. This will affect thousands of channels and content creators. YouTube and Google are effectively trying to determine what you can and you cannot watch and create. There is no better time than now to start exploring alt tech platforms such as BitChute. It's an excellent, excellent YouTube alternative and it's getting better by the day. They're also adding live streaming capabilities on there shortly. There's also a number of other sites like Library and Odyssey. Both, uh, that's kind of one and of the same. Uh, library is kind of like the back end. It's also a front end, but Odyssey they created as a more modern, user friendly front end to library. Definitely check them out. And uh, then you have Rumble. Rumble's been around for a few years, recently exploded. You have backers uh, like Dan Bongino and a bunch of other content creators that are now posting there. Check it out. You have Minds, and then you have D Life for streaming. Excellent streaming platform. Definitely visit them. Um, then there's a bunch of other sites uh, and alternatives to YouTube um, that don't censor your opinions and thoughts because they don't fit their own narratives. I'll leave links to the video uh, in the video description below of all the different alt tech sites as well as my channels on those alt tech sites. And I encourage you to visit them, check them out. If you never heard of them, there's a lot of great content creators, many of which are on YouTube as well. But uh, Nowadays, uh, it makes sense to post your videos to every platform because you never know when YouTube is going to change their terms of service and start nuking your videos. So all in all, this is a direct attack on content creators and the consumers that want to watch and content creators that are producing content that has different views or viewpoints than the mainstream media and these platforms that are hosting it on. So it's this is exactly what they're doing. You can have a differing opinion than what they think. So uh, it's incredibly dangerous. Um, this censorship on YouTube's part uh, is disgusting. And I hope me, more people talk about it, um, get the word out. It's why I decided to make this short little video. Um, I didn't see YouTube ban or censor content for the last four years. People were screaming that Trump's not their president. They were going on with the endless Russia hoax that turned out to be a complete fabrication of lies. In fact, many of these people are still pushing these lies today. YouTube's not banning them from the platform. This is another notch in the belt of reasons on why we need to reform Section 230 immediately. Free speech is dead on these mainstream media platforms. And to be honest, it's been like that for quite a while. There's a number of topics or even people's names you cannot even mention on YouTube without getting your video removed or being completely banned. Most right-leaning content creators have already been shadow banned, demonetized, deplatformed. It's, it's insane. But let's read a little bit from this uh, YouTube uh, blog post here. So, um... Over the past few weeks and months, we've seen people coming to YouTube to learn more about where and how to vote or learning more about a candidate or issue. We see news organizations grow their audience. It's partially because you're directing all of your recommendation to mainstream media outlets instead of independent content creators that made YouTube what it is today. But, you know great and all uh we've seen uh news growing and we've seen people turn to youtube for the latest election results or simply to follow a historic event with the highest voting turnout ever in a century well there's a reason for that and supreme court case let's go on our main goal uh going into the election season was to make sure we're connecting people with authoritative information while also limiting the reach of misinformation and removing harmful content the work here is ongoing, and we wanted to provide an update. Oh, blah, blah, blah. September. Since September, we've terminated 8,000 channels and thousands of harmful and misleading election-related videos for violating our existing policies. 
over 77% of those videos removed were taken down before they had 100 views. Hmm. Probably like this one, though. All right, so uh, here we go. Yesterday was the safe harbor deadline for the U.S. presidential election. Enough states have certified their election results to determine a president-elect. Given that, we will start removing any piece of content uploaded today or any time after that misleads people by alleging widespread fraud or errors change the outcome of the 2020 election. Ay, okay, you know, God forbid you have a different viewpoint on something that happened. They're going to remove your video because you're not an authoritative source like CNN. For example, we will remove videos claiming that a presidential election, a uh, presidential candidate won the election due to widespread software glitches or counting errors. We will begin enforcing this policy today and will ramp up in the weeks to come. Boy, I can't wait. This is going to be so exciting. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to flip over here to a tweet from Right Side Broadcasting. If you don't know who they are, they tend to cover all the Trump rallies and, and other things. They have over a million subs on YouTube, and they just announced that they are no longer will be streaming most events on YouTube for the time being due to their new rules on content that alleges fraud or error changed the outcome of the 2020 election. You know, this is going to happen. Uh, there's a number of other, I guess you could say, right leaning or conservative uh Content creators like Right Side Broadcasting, you have uh, OAN, One American News. Uh, I guess they're not going to post content on uh, YouTube anymore. You have Newsmax. I guess they're not going to be able to be allowed to live stream or post content anymore that has anything detailing any kind of widespread election fraud or counting errors that have, um, according to YouTube, ha has not happened. So, um, again... Besides RSBM, other outlets and creators are speaking up, um, you know, and they are going to be posting their content on alter alternative platforms. So if you notice that some of these guys uh, are posting less and less videos or perhaps a channel was removed, I encourage you, go, go to DLive, go to BitChute, go to, uh, there's Brighteon, there's uh, Minds, Odyssey, Library, check them out start including this alternative t platform technology as part of your daily routine i mean i tend to watch uh, a lot of bitchu videos because a lot of the same content creators that are on youtube are also on bitchu and there's also a lot of people that are on bitchu that are no longer on youtube because they've been deplatformed they've been demonetized so i'm just encouraging everyone speak up speak out complain to youtube post on their Twitter threads, write emails. You have to fight. I mean, going to alternative platforms is, is, is extremely important, but most people still use YouTube. Most people still use Twitch. So you have to fight back. Um, that's all for today. And uh, again, check out the alternative platforms, like, and sub. I appreciate it.